This is an example of uh, problem 48 from uh, section 9.5. We're given a problem. We're told that uh, S is a sales function which tells us, based on X thousands of dollars in advertising, what our sales will be in thousands of dollars. And again, if you just look at this, if, uh, if I don't advertise at all, then this function tells me that I'll have no, no sales. Uh, zero advertising dollars times 200 uh, over zero plus it would be zero. What if I spend uh, $1,000 in advertising? What kind of sales would I have? Well, what we're saying here is evaluate. Uh, by the way, this is not part of the question the book asks. It's just making common sense out of this. But if I want to know when x is 1, uh, when, X is a, or when I have $1,000 in advertising that I spend on advertising, what would my sales be? Now, one thing you need to remember, X is given in thousands of dollars. So when I say I'm going to spend $1,000 in advertising, I'm saying X is 1 because X is thousands of dollars. If I evaluate this function, it would be 200 times 1. It would be 200 over 11. Would be, uh, I get a value of 18.1. 1818 and so on. But remember, that's in thousands of dollars. So if I spend $1,000 in advertising, that would give me a sales of $18,181.81. You know, maybe that multiply that number by thousands. It's $18,000. Now, that's what S represents. What am I asked to find on this problem? I'm asked to find what is the rate of change of sales. Uh, at the time, if X is 10, or I spend 10,000 in advertising, what is the rate of change in sales? And then uh, be the same when X is 20. Or what they really ask us to do is find the derivative, find S prime, and recognize that this is a quotient of two functions, so I have to use my quotient rule. This is my function, G, divided by my function, H, and I'm going to use the quotient rule, which is g prime times h minus h prime times g over g squared. So g prime, the derivative of 200x, is going to be 200 times h. Here's my g prime times h minus the derivative of x plus 10. The derivative of x is 1 times 200x. Here's my h prime times g over g squared, over the, the denominator h squared. Let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. Multiply 200 times each of these terms, and you'll have 200x plus 2,000 minus 1 times 200x be minus 200x over your denominator squared. And so the 200x is canceled, you get 2,000 divided by x plus 10 squared. Now that is the derivative of your sales function of S. How do you find the answers the book asks for? Well, on part A, the book says, what will my sales, what is the rate of change of my sales when x is 10? Well, all they're asking you to find is S prime when x is 10. So plug 10 into this function. It'd be 2,000 over 10 plus 10 squared. And use a calculator. That's going to be 2,000 over 20 squared. Would be uh, oh, 2,000 divided by 400 would be 5. How do you interpret that? When my advertising is at $10,000, a $1,000 increase, a one unit change in X, or a $1,000 increase in advertising, would give me a $5,000 increase in sales. So if I'm spending $10,000 uh, and I uh, spend $1,000 more, or when X is 1, that's going to give me $5,000 more in sales. Uh, good investment, good idea, smart business practice. Uh, Part B said, what is the value of the instantaneous rate of change when X is 20? What that is saying mathematically is evaluate the derivative S prime when x is 20. So we plug 20 into this expression for x, that'd be 2,000 over 20 plus 10 squared. 
And again, use a, a calculator. That's going to be 2,000 divided by 30 squared. And you get um, 2.222. Now, if you multiply that by 1,000, because S is in thousands of dollars, that's, you know, maybe decimal over three places, that'd be $2,222.22. When uh, advertising is at twenty thousand dollars, increasing to twenty one thousand, a one unit increase in X would give you a two thousand two hundred twenty two dollar increase in sales. So it's still advantageous to increase your advertising anymore. Eventually, what is going to happen is you're going to be spending, you're going to be throwing money away because you've already advertised so much that you've flooded the the uh, the market with knowledge of your product and anything else that you do is not going to make anyone else know about your item or make it any more appealing. It's just going to be money just wasted. You're, you're telling people things they already know and you're spending money in advertising to do that. But we haven't hit that point yet. When, set, when uh, advertising is at a level of $20,000, a one unit increase in it would give me a $2,000, a $222 increase in sales. And that's problem 48. Now, you have some problems, check the website for the ones to do. All of them are very similar to these, and it's a combination of the, the common sense in interpreting it, the calculus in finding the derivatives of these functions, and the algebra involved in simplifying your answer. And it'll be a pretty good exercise, and uh, do a good job on it. Be ready to work some examples out for anyone that has questions, and Lord willing, I'll see you a uh, uh, week from today, from Thursday.